practice test one, problem number 11 to 20. We're going to do this today. Number 11, a certain job can be done in 20 hours by four people. How many people are needed to do the same job in 10 hours? Okay, 10 hours is what? Half over this one. Okay, to reduce what? To the half of that hour, we need what? Double people. That's it. Okay, so eight people is the answer. Or you can use this formula too. 20 times four people. When you multiply this, you'll get the right job volume. It'll take 80 hours or people. That is, we said job volume, okay? Job volume. But if you have more people, the time will be getting down. So that is, we said inverse variation. Inverse variation, inverse pro proportion, same thing, okay? Variation. So inverse proportion is what? Product of two variables always constant. So 20 times 4 equals, we have a 10 hours over here, how many people? Times P, always equal. It's going to be 80 hours, which is the job volume. So at this time, the volume P equals 80 over 10 is 8. You can solve this way, okay? That is number 11. All right, number 12. <clears throat> So which of the following is equivalent? So when you take a look, A, B, C, they are all vertex form. But these are not vertex form, these are factor the form. But factor to me is not working because a negative 7 times 1 is negative 7. But this is a positive 7, this is not working. Maybe in, like this, we can check it out. 3 squared is 9, plus 5 is your constant term will be 14. This is a 7. 9, negative 9 squared is a constant term. It is 9 plus 2 is 11. This is 9 minus 2 is 7. This one only have the same uh, constant. So choice is the answer, okay? Or you can solve it directly, over here, okay? You know that how to solve this in vertex form. x squared minus 6x and the plus 7. I'm going to make some space there to make right track. Uh, perfect square trinomial, okay? To make perfect square, we need some number over here. This number is negative 6 divided by 2 and squared. That is 9. You know this, okay? You can add 9, subtract 9 again. So this 3 is perfect square trinomial can be replaced with about squares, okay? So x minus 3 squares and minus 2, okay? This is minus 2. That is a vertex form. Better use this one, okay? All right. Now move on number 13. One equation, 24x squared minus kx plus 16 equals 3x plus 4 and times ax plus b. So a, b, k constant, what is the value of k? We're going to find this value of k there. So you can expand everything but it takes time. Okay, just one by one figure out the constant, right? The number. So 24x squared, 3x times 1 number is 24x squared over here, right? 3 times 8, but well, this is 8. So we got this one, 3x plus 4 and 8x. The next number to be 16, we need number 4 over here. Actually, this is negative b, right? So b equals negative 4, but we don't care about this one. We just find out the value of k there, okay? k is over here in the middle term, okay? How can you find the middle term in this product? 4 times 8x is 32x, 3x times 4 is 12x. That is the middle term, right? Which is a coefficient of x, x terms. So total is 44x. But you're going to careful. Negative k equals 44x. Okay, so k equals negative 44, right? We need x there. Okay, negative 44 is the answer, okay? Number one, number 14. This is not hard. So we're going to find the perpendicular to line there, which of the following perpendicular to this line. Can you see that over here, the slope? 3y equals negative x plus 5. You can divide by 3. Slope is over here, negative 1 third. What is the, the other slope, which is perpendicular to this line? Negative reciprocal, right? So it's going to be 3. 
which of the following has the slope of 3? Only this one, That's right? Choice D is the answer. All right, this is number 15 here. A plus B is 8. Another one is an exponent form. So we can simplify this one. 27, 3, 81, there is a common base number is 3, okay? So 27 is 3 to the third part, 3 to the 3A. This is just 3 to the B. 81 is with common base number 3, that is 20, uh, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? 3 to the fourth power. So this one is 3 to the 3A minus B equals 3 to the 4, okay? So 3A minus B equals 4. Another equation of here, A plus B equals 8. To find the value of A, you can use addition, right? 4A equals 12, A equals 3, okay? That's the answer. All right, move on number 16. In a right triangle, one of the angles is x degree. Tangent x is 5 over 12, so x is not 90 degree, okay? One of the acute angles over here. One of the acute angles, that is x. Using this x, we can find the ratio between all three sides. Tangent x is 5 over 12, this is 5, this is 12. Okay, opposite over addition, that is the tangent. So we have a 5, 12, this one is a 13, we know the right, tri right triangle triplet, 5, 12, 13, or you can use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Using this three side, we can find the value of sine x. You know the sine x opposite over hypotenuse. 5 of 13 is the answer, okay? All right, number 17. You have a car and a building so using these cars, we're going to find the, like, the height of this building. Okay, we're going to find the height of this building is a K. But there's just some constraint there, okay? The car is a poor pit height, is a poor pit. This is a poor pit. And the PQ is a 10 pit over here. And the QR is uh, 80 pit, right? Can you see that? 80 pit. So you can use similar, right? Triangle. This triangle, large triangle are similar. We know that, right? Angle, angle similar, isn't it? So every corresponding side in proportion. 10 to 90, not only 8, okay? 10 to 90, that is equals to 4 to the corresponding height is k. 4 to the k, that's it, okay? So 10k equals 360k equals 36. That's the answer, okay? 36 is the answer. Or you can use uh, this way too. Also, this triangle, this also appear. the triangles are similar, right? So this is 80. You can use this one too. Okay? All right. Number 18. AX plus 1 and BX minus 1 equals 7X for all real X value of X. Uh, all numbers X, okay? So A and B are constant, what is the value of A? Okay. They're equivalent, right? So AX plus BX is what A plus BX. Over here, constant A and minus B, right? B and minus B, okay, so A minus B. That is equal to 7X. But where is the constant? Constant is zero. Because they are always equal for any value of X, okay? Must be same expressions. Co-option of x must be 7, so a plus b equals 7, constant also equals 0, okay? a minus b equals 0. You can use right additions, 2a equals 7, the value of a equals 3.5, or 7 over 2, okay? Well, number 19, according to the formula p equals 4 over 3k plus 81, if the value of p is increased by 16, delta p is 16. So how much does the value of k increase? We're going to find the delta k change in k, these numbers. But this equation is a linear, right? Looks like y equals 4 over 3x plus 81. That is better looking? Yes. Slope is 4 over 3. What is the slope? Change in p over change in k. Delta p over delta k. That's the slope. But this is given 16. So how can you find delta k there? 4 times delta k equals 48. Divide by 4, 
delta k equals what? 12, okay? Yeah, there is increase, right? 12 in k, okay? 12 is this, okay? The last question of this test one is here. System of equation, x squared plus y squared equals 56. The other one is the radical equation, y equals radical x. What is the value of x? So let me do y, okay? Substitute over here. y squared is x. So we can say x squared plus x move to the left, that is minus 56 equals 0. So x plus 8, x minus 7 equals 0. That is the factor, number, right? So we have two numbers, x equals negative 8, x equals 7. But from here, inside the radical cannot have a negative number, okay? Must be greater than or equal to 0, okay? This is not working. So x equals 7 is the answer, okay? 7 is the answer. Okay, we finished the old test one, okay? The next video, we're going to start again. Test two. Thank you so much.